Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. We're now going to be finding the roof pressure pressure along the lower level roof. So the roof on level two. So just some information. We have a flat roof. Alpha is less than 10 degrees because it's flat. The height of this roof is now at eight meters. So it's four plus four, that the roof is at eight meters. The length of the side wall is now 60 meters. So this lower roof has a footprint like this. So that length of the side wall. So here's the windward wall. The side wall is 60 meters. So H on D is 8 divided 60. So 8 divided 60 is 0.133. And also the design wind speed at the roof is 47.7 meters per second. So we found this when we did the Excel spreadsheet. You can go back and look. So we're going to be using the same table that we used um, in the previous video. So table 5.3a. So just to remind you, um, let me just zoom in. All right, so we have H on we have uh, horizontal distance from windward edge where H is now eight meters. So our range is going to be zero to four, four to eight, eight to twelve. Sorry, eight to sixteen, sixteen to twenty-four. Okay, so I've just put in those ranges, and also we have greater than three eight, so greater than twenty-four. Now we need all those um, values because the length of our roof is going to be 60 meters. So we need to go, we need to include everything so that we have 60. So we have to have greater than 24 there. So in the previous example, we only had to take a couple values, 0 to 10, 10 to 20 from the horizontal distance, but now we need to take all of them. All right, I hope that's clear why. So continuing on, we just need to then quote all the CPE values. So for CPE, we need to know the H on D. H on D is 0.1 so that's less than 0.5 so I've literally just quoted all these values over here so I've just rewritten them in my table so I've rewritten them there 